Well, hi guys, welcome to day 119 of the big vlog. It's officially the last day of my 20s. Who'd have thunk it? I was thinking about um, getting to 30, and uh, the last week, as I said before, I've kind of got to that point where I'm doing the last thing of my 20s. So, Wednesday evening was my last band practice in my 20s. Today is the last Thursday of my 20s. And it all adds up. But while I was lamenting over the age that I'm going to become tomorrow, um, <laughs> I, I couldn't help but comment on the whole bigot gate that's erupting um, <laughs> from Gordon Brown's... Okay. If you're not in the UK, let me just explain. Our Prime Minister was uh, doing a, greet, a meet and greet in the street <laughs> um, and he was talking to an old lady um, and then he basically finished up his conversation with her, all nice as pie, got into his car and then basically said, oh, that was a disaster, she's just a bigoted woman. And it was just, it just erupted yesterday. And um, it was, to me, the nail in the coffin. I mean, I, I've... To be perfectly frank, I'd never, this election, I'd never think of voting Labour, ever. Um, I think there's been some significant damage done by the Labour Party, and um, they, they came in at the, at the just before the, the uprise of excess, and to be honest, we do need a change, and, you know, whatever happens, I'm not voting Labour. Okay, that's that's all I'm going to say. But to me, that was a nail in the coffin for Gordon Brown. It seriously was just the most mortifying thing. If you've seen the footage of him getting told, oh, we've got the tape, while he was in a radio station doing the interview, the way he just kind of threw himself back and then kind of like did this in front of the camera, it was just priceless, priceless. But you got to see the real person. And in all fairness to him, you know, she was she was attacking him with kind of vaguely anti-immigration talk. And he did try and put up an argument. At least he didn't say something like, you know, yeah, I totally agree with it though. You know, oh, bloody immigrants. Yeah, because that would have been much worse. At least he called her a bigot. And in all intents and purposes, it was a private conversation, etc, etc. But... I think it's going to have a massive effect on his performance in this election next uh, next Thursday. Um, so basically, I don't want to go into it too long, but thinking about hitting 30 and having an election to think about as well kind of makes you feel better because you don't have to think about turning 30. Instead, I'm thinking about the future of our country. Yes. So, <laughs> what can I say on my last day in my 20s? Not a great deal, to be honest. Not a great deal. Uh, as I mentioned to uh, Dancing Graphics, I think it was, uh, I have not had a haircut. It's just my hair's curly, so it doesn't really kind of do anything. It kind of looks like it's been cut when it hasn't been cut at all. And I'll just ruin my hair. Woo! But anyway, um, tomorrow is the big day. I will try to do some video um, during the day, probably. Um, and I'll be saying I'm a lot because I've just said I'm a lot today. But I've um, I've had a, a, a delivery of a film today that I want to watch, which is They Live by John Carpenter. If any of you are into the Illuminati and kind of conspiracy theories, it's quite a good film that illustrates the point of us being sheep and being told what to think told what to do and not being free people in this world. A bit deep to end on but it's just a film with a wrestler in it so metaphysical rules yeah! So guys you are the snared and you have been so until tomorrow when I might start crying on camera um, I shall see you tomorrow. Roll on 120! Woo!